Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thorne. Today we're talking INFPs versus INTPs. How do you tell them apart? How do you tell the difference? And I'm gonna help you figure that out through three different distinctions. First, my flow type approach, in which I identify a personality type based on who they are in flow. Second, my archetype approach, in which I separate the different archetypes and mythical representations of these personality types in our society and in our culture. Third, by looking at their cognitive functions, their thought processes, and in reality their motivation, what they are most intrinsically motivated by. So INFPs and INTPs, they do place themselves on a similar position. They are neighboring personality types who share a lot of similar cognitive functions and processes. They're both introverted intuitive types. They're both intuitive perceiving types. They both take the stance of the philosopher who approaches life theoretically rather than practically. They both take the approach of the rebel, the one that asks the questions and has the alternate perspective and view of the regular normal society. But beyond that, the differences are many. And because of this, I feel this decision between these two types should be relatively simple. I see a lot of people questioning their personality types, but in the end, I see very few that actually wonder whether they are INFP or INTP on a more true or deep and archetypal level. I say that INFPs come from a position of different archetypes and myths than the INTP personality type. And if the INTP comes from the position of the scientist associated with the rational progress, logic and carefully thought out reasoning, the INFP comes from the position of the utopian idealist or the innocent associated with naive and harmonious values, inner values, inner feelings that cannot be explained, that cannot be rationalized, that cannot be questioned, that just are there as representations of what you believe and what you feel is true to you as an INFP. In myths and culture and in society, INFPs are associated with purity, while INTPs are associated with cleverness. And in this we see INFPs as people who are just naturally talented at what they do. People who in their music are just raw and authentic. They base themselves in what they do and their actions and their decisions on raw authenticity. They put themselves out there through their music and through their actions. Every action they take, every word they show, choose, every lifestyle or every career they pursue is a reflection of their desire to remain true to themselves and to remain pure. And in this, INFPs tend to represent those that refuse to go along and to compromise with society. While the INTP is comfortable compromising their values at certain points because it is the logical course of action, the INFP struggles to do anything that goes against their base feelings and their base instinct. They have a strong ethical compass, a strong feeling of what they like and what they want, and it's hard for them to give this up. So what we see is INFPs struggle to make themselves valuable for society. From their own point of view, they are already valuable. They already know what is valuable. They already know what they want, but they have no idea how to make themselves valuable to the system and to the society. How can I turn in profit doing what I do? How can I make money doing what I do? The INTP comes from a position of a scientist, and that means they can too share that struggle of holding a logical point of view or having devised a system or an invention or developed something, a skill or a tool set or an ability that at the moment, as of right now, has no value. But the INTP is relatively good at selling itself, selling its ability, arguing the pros and cons of what they do, explaining through thinking and perceiving what the worth is of what they do and what the price is. INFPs struggle to set a price tag on what they do. Their whole work, their whole worth, their whole career, their whole actions and activities and interests and hobbies 
are beyond matters of quantifiable value. You cannot count your way to INFP. You cannot measure with a ruler how high or how tall it holds. You cannot explain or sell or simply define it into some easy pros and cons. Everything with the INFP is a matter of personal taste and personal values and preference. Do you like it or not? Do you value it or not? Is this right or is it not? INFPs struggle to explain their values and tend to express or experience having to explain themselves as being questioned. When other people ask them why they like something, they feel questioned, put on the spot. What are you asking me to do? Are you criticizing me? Are you questioning me? INFPs struggle to describe and define in practical and logical terms why they do something or why they like something or why they think something is good. When people question their base morality that they have developed and reflected on and meditated upon for years and years, they also make the INFP feel put on the spot. They make them feel questioned or invalidated. I've meditated on this, I've felt this, I've seen it, I've thought about it, and I strongly feel this way. I strongly feel this is important. So where do INFPs and INTPs differ? One thing to look at is on the basis on the merits of character. While INTPs tend to demonstrate their worth in society based on their skill sets and their abilities and their competitive instinct, INFPs tend to base themselves on ethics and on having character in itself. So INFPs, they focus on their personal expression, who they are. This is who I am. This is what I do. This is what you, uh, why you should like me. Because I am who I am. Because I am authentic. Because I am true to myself. The INTP prefers to compete and develop and define its values and skill sets through developing skill sets to begin with. Through mastering a task or a topic until they become experts by developing the ability to assert themselves in a company or in a career in a specific field or hobby by becoming the best at this particular hobby. INTPs are rushing to develop skills and to be the best at what they do because to them that is character. The INFP is this eager to be validated and to be accepted and to be appreciated for who they are and they just hope they just hope that other people will accept them just the way they are what the INFP is looking for is the base trust where the community and the tribe and society around them recognize their skills and abilities and recognize who they are just based on who they are and have seen historically that yes this INFP has good character, yes they are honest, yes I can trust them, yes I've seen that they are good at this, yes I've seen that they have something unique that nobody else has. So the INFP is looking for and they are constantly wondering about what is it that is unique about me, what is it I can do that nobody else can, you know there is an eagerness in the INFP to feel that they have something that others lack, that they have some kind of inner artist, some kind of inner value, some kind of purpose or identity that allows them to take presence and to take and assert themselves in society confidently. For some INFPs it can be a race to develop confidence because no person has seen what you can do. No person has noticed how much you truly excel in what you do. No person has truly picked you up and come to appreciate you or invalidate you for what you wish to be validated for. Now, often the IXXP personality types like INFTPs and INTPs tend to come from the position that they are invalidated by other people, you know. The INFP feels they are invalidated because other people simply don't like them. They feel other people simply don't like me. Other people just think I'm weird. Other people just think I'm stupid. Other people just don't like me. The INFP, the INTP, sorry, comes from the position that people just don't know how good I am. People don't recognize my talents and how skilled I am. People don't trust my knowledge and my expertise. They question my knowledge. They don't trust me when I say something is right and something is wrong. They don't listen to or understand 
how correct I am and how skilled I am at what I do. So INTPs come from the position that their skill set has been rejected by the tribe. INFPs from the position that their person, their identity has been rejected by the tribe. When you look at uh, INFPs and INTPs archetypically, the INFP occupies the innocent artist and the INTP occupies the skillful expert, the competitive scientist, the critical performer, in a sense that the INTPs, they tend to want to demonstrate their skills and their worth. They, they have a desire to prove how good they are at what they do, you know, they really want to be known as the best at what they do. They really want to have their skills proven and so they have that competitive instinct in which they are prepared to do what is necessary to win. You know, they have that uh, fair play mentality in this, you know. If I play by the rules and you play the, by the rules and may the best person win, you know, may the best person win. If you are better than me, then sure, I will accept this and I will pull back and I will develop and I will beat you tomorrow. It, however, being rejected or being questioned on your character or struggling because you can't deal with the interpersonal dynamics, that's very difficult. When you're an INTP, interpersonal dynamics are a constant stress, a constant pain on your it's something that uh, comes up constantly in your life, you know. You may be the best, but you're not the most liked, and perhaps the most liked is going to end up with a promotion. Maybe you're truly the most knowledgeable, the biggest expert on this matter, but the other guy is a lot more polished and clean, and everybody likes him, so... Maybe they, maybe they will give him the position anyways, by default, just because they don't like you. Maybe people just don't like you, you know. Having that interpersonal stress on you as an INTP, that's very difficult. It's equally as difficult as the INFP's fear of lack of worth or value to the system. Just as the INFP struggles with the weight of being unprofitable... The INTP struggles with being socially inept. The feeling of being socially inept, of having said something wrong, of failing to abide by tribe dynamics, of failing to recognize the social norms in the group, of accidentally hurting people when you're just trying to compete or just trying to win or just trying to impress people with your skills. I've seen INTPs struggle and get into conflicts because while they think they are simply engaging in a playful argument, the other person feels you are invalidating them by uh, shitting on their feelings. And that's uh, very difficult. Um, INFPs, they don't usually come from this position. I rarely hear INFPs worry that they hurt somebody or upset somebody. But that more interpersonal thing of uh, your own emotions, your own feelings, that thing is always there as an INFP. INFPs are deeply interpersonal where INTPs are critical and that means they make a matter, a matter of emotions and feelings and emotional needs while the INTP makes it a matter of critical discourse and of argument and of logical reasoning. So while the INFP tries to relate to their own feelings and emotions directly, the INTP tries to explain their feelings. Why am I feeling this way? Why am I thinking this way? What is my thought process behind this? INFPs cannot explain themselves and cannot explain their emotions and often struggle because they can't explain it and because other people ask them to. All an INFP really wants is for other people to just accept them. If they feel a certain way, for other people to just go, I understand. And to not ask anything else, not try to prod or pry any deeper, why? Or, but you have such a good life and you have so many friends and you cannot explain it. Why are you feeling this way? The interpersonal style of an INFP also means they absorb the emotions of everyone around them, you know? Rather than focus on the interpersonal connection with others, 
The INFP relates to people based on an emotional level of what that person is feeling and what they want rather than who they are or where they come from. The INTP is a lot more comfortable befriending other people. And that's something a lot of people miss, that INFTPs can appear to as extroverted feeling types insofar as that they are prepared to befriend and to engage in interpersonal dynamics. They are pref- pref- they're inclined to st- start talking to you, asking you questions, where you're from, what you do, what you like to do, what your hobbies are, what you're doing this weekend. INFP does not. Something re- really glaringly obvious I've noticed about INFPs is they make little to no effort to get to know other people personally. And because of this, there is a misconception, and here's where we get into the stereotypes of INFPs and INTPs. Here is the misconception of INFP coldness. Because INFPs deal with emotions internally rather than externally, INFPs can be perceived as more cold than INTPs. The best way to dispel this stereotype is to get to know an INFP on an emotional level. What are you feeling? How are you doing? Are you okay? Those are the emotions you want to do and ask to get to know the INFP on an emotional basis. The INTP, however, to ask them about their feelings, to ask them about their needs, to go, are you okay? How are you doing? That's actually, I've done it, this made this mistake several times and they will sweep you off. They will cut you off. No, it's fine. It's good. It's nothing. Instead, INTPs want to be... <laughs> engaged on a critical level. How is it going? Are there any obstacles? Are there any difficulties? How are, is this process working out for you? Are you able to do the task? Are you stuck on something? That's what they like, you know, being able to explain, yeah, I'm stuck on this problem. It's not working out. There's something in the way here. I'm missing a piece of evidence. I'm not, I haven't looked through this. I've, I'm struggling with this task, you know. Uh, that's much more real to the INTP and feels a lot more like emotional vulnerability to them. So yeah, that's INFP versus INTP for you. First, they share two similar cognitive functions and one temperament. They are NI and NP personality types, and they're both introverted perceiving types. Then they have different cognitive functions. The INTP has introverted thinking and thinking perceiving. The INFP has introverted feeling and feeling perceiving. That means that INFP is the idealist, the utopian, the innocent, the character, the artist, the self-expressionate, honest reporter. The INTP is the hacker, the critic, the expert, the player, the gamer, the competitive type. Then what you will see is INTPs in flow use thinking and INFPs in flow use feeling. That means feeling is your biggest motivation as an INFP and thinking is your biggest motivation as an INTP. So if you're ever lost on TNF, chances are you're lost to your true motivation. As of this point, you are feeling stuck. Life is difficult. You're not sure if you're doing the right studies, if you're in the right career, if you're at the right place, you are perhaps overwhelmed by difficulties. You are perhaps confused about what you want, where to go next, what to do with my life, who am I, what am I supposed to do? So what can you do to figure out if you're an INFP or an INTP? Beyond listening to this video, perhaps go out and make some decisions. Go out and practice making decisions. Make decisions for yourself. Evaluate your decisions. Did I like this or did I not like it? Was this good for me? Was this not good for me? What did I like about it? What did I not like about it? Explain and write down and reflect on your decisions and in your actions and in what's happening around you based on whether it's good or bad and based on how it feels to you and what you like about it and what you dislike about it. Go out and have a career. Go out and study. Go out and pressure yourself based on your goals. Put yourself in a position where it's glaringly obvious what you want and where you cannot hide from your passions any longer. Be real with yourself, 
Figure out if you're a feeling or thinking personality type. Figure out if you're an INFP or an INTP. That's my answer to you guys. Thanks everyone for watching this video. And if you like it, leave a like, share and subscribe. And of course, leave a comment. Let me know, are you an INFP or an INTP? What are you struggling the most to tell the difference between? What are you the most unsure about whether you are an INFP or an INTP? Thanks for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video.